Hey, it's Radical Dan. Check it out, we're cooking egg. On the charcoal gas of fire. You see the flames coming out the bottom here. Got a nice good flame on it. Perfect setup for like a grid down situation or whatever. I think it's gonna be an omelet. <laughs> Uh, we're just making scrambled eggs out of it. And then, uh, kind of hard to do it with one hand. But you can see it's cooking. You see it coming off of it. Anyway, I hooked this little blower up. It's not the one I had yesterday. I put batteries in this one and I'm blowing from the inside on this side right here. That way I can control the airflow to it. But, uh, yeah. Been, that thing's been running about, I don't know, about five or six minutes. If I have to worry about the wind blowing it out. But you can basically see the idea. So you can basically cook. You don't have no gas in your house. And the gasifier is a real simple design. I mean, you can do it. Anybody can do it. I mean, all you need is a steel container or something that'll hold the heat. And, uh,. Basically, put charcoal in it, and you let air flow through the bottom just a certain amount, and it won't burn completely. What and what will happen is the carbon dioxide, or the carbon monoxide, and the hydrogen and the methane, any kind of gases that are in the in, in the charcoal, will come out the top. Now, this is the key part right here. This top piece above the charcoal has to be airtight. That's the only that's the only stipulation about it. Everything else can you can you can put it in a paint can, you can put it in a propane can, you can put it in a trash can. It doesn't matter as long as the top is airtight. As long as when the air is flowing through it and the gas is, you're not sucking air in here because that'll make it explosive and you don't want that. But now these these gases are burnable, and what they do now if you run it in an engine, you'll want to filter it and cool it down because you don't want the dust and stuff getting in your engine. But on this case, when it's just an open flame. You know, it doesn't matter because it does some stuff in front, see? And we got eggs. Pretty awesome, huh? And the fire's going on right there. Yeah, but you can do it any 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 kind of a container. And see, this is not airtight down here. When I welded this in here, I just tag welded a couple spots. It doesn't matter because it sucks air in from this side. But like I said, up here is where you don't want the air to mix with the gases because then it'll make explosive mixture. But then your gases will just come up. And I just had this set up for, you know, for my motor when I when I was using it, because this is to drain the water out and all that stuff. But anyway, the pipe, the, the tube just goes, and that's just a little propane burner. And I took the control valve and all that stuff out of it. And, uh, damn, that smells good. I smell egg. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so anybody can do it. I mean, and you just, you have to have a supply of air. And I don't know if you can do a bellows, or I don't know if you can do a little hand pump, or, you know, whatever you want to do. This, this is a... A little C, they got four C batteries in it. Or you can hook it up to something that, that runs off a solar panel. I mean, it's not a big deal, but see, like right now, actually, technically, you could heat with this. I mean, if it was in the wintertime and like you didn't have no gas or something like that and you had a gasifier, you could run this pipe through your, you know, inside to your stove or whatever you got and you could have a burner like that. Or if you're in a camper, you know, you could run it, uh, you could run it like that. So not only can I make electricity with the charcoal, I mean, you, you can put it in a grill, and you can grill with it like that, like traditionally. But this way here, I can leave the heat source outside. I can leave this outside. And then I can just pipe it into the house or into the living space, whatever, without the, the risk of, you know, this thing burning the house down or burning the tent down or whatever. You can have that sitting outside, and you can actually run this inside, and you have a flame to heat with or to cook with or, you know, whatever. So it's just another option. I mean, you can make electricity with the charcoal, and you can cook with the charcoal, and you can melt metal with the charcoal, and... To me, it's like the perfect, it's the perfect fuel. I can do whatever I want with it. And it's not, you know, it's not, it's not finite, you know. I mean, a tree you grow, and you can make charcoal out of anything. You can make charcoal out of paper, out of cardboard, out of plant material. You can make it any kind of uh, biological material that, you know, based, that's based on carbon. I mean, you could probably make it out of people if you had to. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not advocating that. But anyway, what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, yeah. So, that's it. We got... Cooking with charcoal. Yeah, buddy, I tell you what. <laughs> Later.